Hi, it's Zymac from the Rubik's Cube, and I'm here today to show you a new sticker mod I made. You like really slurred your words, you know that, right? I'm uh, not going to criticize you. I'll like try that, again. But yeah, it was. You sounded like hi, it's Zymac Macaroon. macaroon. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Adam Macaroon, and I'm here with a sticker mod, a sticker mod that I made. <laughs> so um, my sister, who is in the background, actually works at Nike. And so I was thinking of gifts to get her, and I thought, okay, people keep Rubik's Cubes on their desk, but how can I make it interesting for somebody who works at uh, Nike? So I just decided to make um, probably the most hype beast cube that's ever existed. So um, this is just a, I, I, this is barely a sticker mod, but I just basically carved a bunch of Nike swooshes into a cube. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go, go over how I did that real quick because it came out pretty well, actually. So this first one here is called the Solo Swoosh uh, logo that they, Nike uses today. And it actually comes out better if you do the individual larger ones because it's a bit easier to cut along those lines. Um, you can see that compared to this over here where I decided to do a swoosh per sticker. You can see that there's some inconsistencies between the swooshes, but um, in general, I think they came out pretty well. Generally, the pattern that I went with here were um, to show different types of logos that Nike has on each side, as well as showing some of my favorite logos from some of the shoes I like. And if you guys don't know, I'm a bit of a sneakerhead, so I do have some favorite uh, Nike shoes. Uh, starting with the logos, however, we have the solo swoosh, as I mentioned, and then over here we have the uh, 1978 logo, the bold logo, where they had the uh, Nike right above the swoosh. And you still see stuff like that today, actually. They still have some of their older logos. Um, this is relatively new, where they have the swoosh and then a big box over where the Nike would be on the Bulls logo, and this is called the Innovation logo. So I decided to add that because uh, it's a pretty cool logo. I like it. I have a shirt with it on it. Um, and then moving over to the different types of swooshes, here we have a weird looking swoosh because uh, this belongs on a shoe actually. It's from the Air Jordan 3 Tinker. And right over here, it's the swoosh is sort of cut off by a different pattern on the shoe. And I really just, I really love the way the shoe looks. So I decided to add it to one of the sides of uh, the Nike swoosh cube. And then on the bottom here, we have a reverse uh, swoosh on an unreleased unreleased shoe, uh, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, which I, I like I said, I don't think is out yet, but I just really like how the reverse swoosh looks. Um, and on the shoe, it's cut off on the bottom like this, so I decided to add it to like the bottom of the, the face. Yeah, so I'm just really happy with the way this cube turned out. Um, and, yeah, and my sister. So uh, it ended up being good. I just thought I'd make a quick video on it because technically it is a sticker mod and I haven't shown a sticker mod off in a while. Um, which is kind of sad, but yeah. Uh, now to just to go over quickly how I did this, it's pretty easy, anybody could really do it. I got the idea, it took me, it's actually quite a time consuming process. It took me like five or six hours, but um, it's not hard at all. So what I did here, this paper looks like a mess, but I just printed out the different logos and I just took a an X-Acto knife. This is not the exact one I used, but um, you know, something like this would get the job done. Just a blade and you cut out the individual patterns over here. So you get them on the side like this. And um, I just use this as a stencil basically. So I went, I placed it on the cube, made sure the uh, size was about correct. And I took a Sharpie and just drew on the cube and then cut it straight out from the puzzle. Uh, unfortunately, that did mean on some of the harder sides, like this red side, this was definitely the hardest side. Um, if you look closely, there are some scratches and scuff marks and whatever um, because uh, take an X-Acto knife straight to the puzzle does scratch it up a little bit. Um, but overall, especially on a black cube, it's difficult to see that. Um, so it, it turned out pretty well. Um, I did have a few minor mistakes, but since you're cutting off such large sections of, of colors, um, my mistake was mostly on the orange side. I had to replace this piece right here with a separate piece that I cut out of a sticker from up top here. So it's relatively easy to correct mistakes if you're doing these sort of like outline puzzles that I'm doing here. Uh, the hardest one, like I said, was red, and this is a stencil that I used for that. It was relatively small. Uh, so that's why there were some inconsistencies because I would trace using this logo and here are all the little swooshes I cut out. But then I would have to, you know, hand draw on corrections on there because it is paper. It's not like a 
plastic stencil, so there are some little mistakes that have to be corrected by hand, and that causes the inconsistencies. But uh, overall, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, I don't know if I'll be getting back into sticker mods anytime soon because they are pretty time consuming. I just happen to be on Thanksgiving break at the moment. But uh, yeah. Subscribe below. Yeah, that. Bye. <laughs>